so uh, welcome back uh, in this video I want to show you the customization of task bar so this bar right here on the bottom where all these um, programs reside when you open a new window for example if I open Firefox you see it opens here so uh, let me go like this so this is my virtual machine so you can differentiate Microsoft came up with this way of doing things back in I think by when Vista and I hated it it's smaller and of course it takes less space but then they wanted to um, like cram everything in this one as well like if you have four uh, windows uh, four instances instances of Firefox they will be all here let me show you what I'm talking about let me another one new window so you see it's right there so let's see this one is amazon.com and you can click on it and the other one is yahoo.com <coughs> and open up yet another one and call that YouTube So I'm going to show you something. You have to toggle between these three. And yes, at our work, we have to go through. So we have like a workaround. We use the tabs in here. It saves a lot of time. But sometimes it's uh, it opens up in a new window. So what you have, then what you have to do, you have to actually go here. It's See how painful it is. So you have to actually go here then actually pay attention it takes at least two seconds to see which one it is and then click on it so i want i like it this way everything is different separate has its own window so i know it's this one uh or this one this one like they will have name on it so for instance if i open youtube uh, uh yahoo on it and minimize it yahoo says right there so and the next one will say MSN and next one will say YouTube on it so I don't have to hover over it and then click on find it and then click uh, and if you have to do it repeatedly all day eight hours a shift then yes it's not very productive so let's find out the taskbar setting it's very easy you right click on there and you write in their taskbar settings so you see this is kind of more important than start menu so it says lock the taskbar yes lock, what does lock means lock means let me off it and show you you see the mouse pointer turn into two-headed pointer and then I can drag it upwards right or I can can I make it right left no that must be another option so I made it uh, and maybe I made it by mistake huh so lock the top where is setting so lock the taskbar see now I cannot do anything my mouse mouse pointer is not turning into two-headed pointer what's the next one no. automatically hide the taskbar in desktop mode I hate this one <laughs> you will say hey okay this guy hates everything so why again it's uh, anti-productivity so you see pay attention here this will be hidden <clears throat> so if it's hidden how do you access it so what happens is where is it automatically hide the taskbar okay yeah so what happens is you see after and you have to point your mouse pointer here wiggle it and then it comes back and if you leave it here it will not come you have to go all the way down to the very bottom this one right here and then it shows up so if you are looking where that YouTube uh, 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 tab is or the browser you have to first bring up the taskbar and then go to it what they wanted with this option was to give you more screen so about like what did I will say an inch space more down here and diagonally that will be 
maybe uh, whatever you do the math so uh, that's why I'm not a fan of this one either automatically hide the taskbar in tablet mode we'll see tablet mode where it is I saw somewhere yeah uh, now that's the start so we'll see tablet mode that's a different thing <coughs> Microsoft uh, uh, Windows 10 is not for desktop anymore it's for multiple uh, sort of devices so rather than to give you a separate flavor of uh, operating system that is uh, for tablets what they did is they integrated incorporated all the options in side windows 10 on each copy so all you have to do is just turn those options on for tablet <coughs> so i can even if i turn it since it's not a tablet it's not going to take into effect use small taskbar buttons turn on okay now it's even smaller so <laughs> yep so imagine you have to go and I'm not a fan the next one is use peak to preview the desktop when you move your mouse to the show desktop button at the end of the taskbar so this button right here if you see there's a line and that's the it looks like there is a like it's just a line so they're calling this button if I turn it on what happens is that you get to view um, like everything is on for example all the windows are up maximized then you can click or go hover over here and it will show you the desktop I used to use it uh, to quickly get to the desktop um, let's turn it on and you see so now it's working so imagine everything is up and to get to the desktop you click minimize then you have to minimize 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 and then you get to see the desktop right so it's you're working your whole day and now all you have to do is just go over here and your mouse stays there for like maybe two seconds and it shows you to the desktop as soon as you go away from that area it brings up all the um, windows back up so that is a nice feature so this uh, button it's still uh, the way I used to work it that uh, just uh, press it and it will take you to your desktop next one replace command prompt with Windows PowerShell in the menu when I right click the start button on press Windows key plus X so if I click oh and right click sorry so Windows PowerShell admin Windows PowerShell so there is no command prompt so it depends what uh, as a power user uh, or in your organization what you use the mouse PowerShell or command prompt <coughs> so if I turn it off and I go right click on it you see it's command prompt now see and if I go and turn it on it's PowerShell so Microsoft wanted I think they're pushing PowerShell now and that's why show badges on taskbar button so what do the badges uh, let's find out So I had to quickly search it. I was thinking that this the these badges are for this. Now they are for right here uh, for these one badges here. Like if you have a mail, it will tell you how many, and then also on like on these icon, it will be something else as well. So see if I turn it off. It looks like the same. So 
badges are for this I cannot show you but hey like uh, you have to run some of this program like if mail is running I know that mail has a little badge on it that say tell that actually tells you how many emails waiting so we're, we're, it's like without logging in getting uh, information without firing up that uh, application so in that mail case you without uh, opening up the mail you know that you have like 19 emails if the badge says 19 you know that there are 19 new or unread emails next one is taskbar location on screen this is important you should know it it saved my life uh, not my <laughs> not my life but a lot of headache and trouble so what happened is we have uh, they changed a the program a virtual phone on our um, at work so I knew how to do this uh, long I think when it was when uh, Windows me or something or 98 probably I don't know if 90 had that feature or not so what happened was that uh, this uh, tiny uh, bar of that uh, virtual phone I dragged it just like uh, let me show you I so what I did was I dragged it like this so you see it's gone all the way down and it was a perfect mistake and you see I cannot drag it and even if I click here it was not I could not get to it and can I go to here no and this I could not uh, it was so important for work I could not just uh, you know um, close the program that would mess my whole system I would have to enter a text segment or or ask for a text segment so you see in this instant I cannot access it either like I'm trying to oh I got that but it was so perfect now it's I cannot but anyway it was so perfect it I the tiniest uh, this um, purple you're seeing I cannot see that uh, apps uh, border so what I did was I changed the taskbar location on screen to what I did was on the right so click right so you see it has gone to the right and it that app was still there the reason it came up is because it's full screen but that app is literally the size of this white area it's a little bit longer and to the right but it was literally so it was still there so what I, all I did all I had to do was just drag it back up go to the settings again and move my taskbar back to the bottom now for me that is why it was handier but I've seen people that they keep the um, this taskbar on the right side uh, on the sorry on the left side I've seen people I've never seen somebody who has put on the top you might have I have never but I've seen a few who liked it here I don't know why all right so uh, but I like it at the bottom it's easier to toggle through so this is the uh, thing that I was this is the option that I was talking about always hide label I do not like it when taskbar is full even then I do not want it I want them to keep cramming because I don't open so many that it my taskbar real estate will run out so what I did is never and now when I was talking to you earlier about uh, seeing so even though still it's all compacted crammed I have still a pretty good idea where the YouTube is where's the Amazon is and where's the Kobe even though it should not be Kobe it was something else but it's the uh, late uh, um, athlete God rest his uh, soul um, so you know so this is uh, like just a quick way for me rather than to go hover over it look for it click on it and if I have to do it the whole day every two minute or every one minute see how hectic it is so this way is much easier I can just simply very fastly switch between windows and then yes I get rid of all of these a search thing and all that 
um, they actually did the, the they removed the search and we can remove the search from here as well if it there's an option so let's go to the next one how do I customize task bar this must be a Bing search yes oh it's a sport Microsoft support document so if you want you can read that select which icons appear on the task bar this is the one I think I do not want network to be appearing here if network is is this one network no I don't want that there <coughs> volume yes everything is off good I can exit out of here but these are the uh, icons that you can turn on and off to be under here so what I was looking for is these options <coughs> go back task bottle location is done okay turn system icons on on or off so system icons are the one that are system uh, Microsoft Windows and you have no control it's not like they were installed with the computer uh, sorry a software and they start showing up there no they are system icon you can turn on of them like volume clock etc action center action center is this one right here i think yep that's the one the icon match so <coughs> you can turn off which we don't want appearing there show keep coming away here multiple displays multiple dis like at work we have two uh, monitors side by side so we have um, that's how uh, uh, most of the offices are on so you can see what the um, what you want the taskbar to do so I have taskbar on both of them different ones so it's not like one stretching to uh, the other each monitor has its own taskbar uh. all right so next is <coughs> peoples if i turn peoples on it turned on something and you have peoples button here and it basically shows you um, your contacts if you connect it skype mail so all the contacts that you have they show up here and it's a quick way of accessing them I will turn it off and then if you turn it on all the options related to them show up my people notification app suggestion all that so finally I was talking about these options like search bar I don't need search and it's probably taking about three windows worth of space so we right click over here go to that search and it should take care of it no it did not okay remove so if I click Cortana button that's gone toss view is a good thing I'm gonna show you sometime so so search should be gone ah it's right there okay I've seen it so let me put the toss view toss view button back show toss view button I like that button but to remove search it's like hidden show search icon or hidden now I have much more space and that's how you get that and <clears throat> everything done and then for these these three you don't need them um, I will talk about the difference between Edge and Internet Explorer 11 in a future video. So let's unpin, unpin, and unpin. So you have freed up more space, even more space. And that's how I keep my uh, task bar. I'm gonna wrap this video here. If this video has helped you, please rate, comment, subscribe, and share. And I see you in the next one.